that song. Okay. Um, hi, I'm Helen Winston. I'm a senior at Miller South High School. I see it's on the beat. And the beat got sicker. And this is um, called anger, anger management therapy. <clears throat> Excuse me. When I was in the eighth grade, I split my knuckles on the bark of my dad's oak tree up back, let the wood cut and splinter my already felted skin and run an earthquake up to my shoulder. The only thing I felt I could control was the blood running down the back of my hands. I was the angry, ugly half dyke stuck in a school full of kids who could see right through that closet door complete with an eating disorder and OCD wrapped up with the bow, the noose of this rage clenching my throat shut. Everyone always talks about how teenage boys are the hotheads all puffed up on testosterone, but no one looks at the depressed, quiet girl sitting in the back with her knees to her chest. I was volatile. A violent cocktail of suppression and oppression, I used to scream at my classmates and my friends till my throat went as raw as my heart felt. So I transferred school districts, dropped my homophobic friends, stopped obsessing over locks and scrubbing my skin till it opened like rose petals, sat in the sunshine and ate six meals a day. I learned early on that I could recover from everything that was done to me, but not what I was born with. The bisexual part is something I show off on my sleeve and I've been blessed for friends to accept that, but there's Nothing worse than still feeling like there's something bubbling beneath the surface than hearing the boy telling rape jokes fade into the background when my heart pounds like hollow thunder and I try to pull breaths screaming fire into my lungs. I get so angry, I feel sick as if this body doesn't have room for anything other than this burn when my hands curl into fists like snakes coiling hungry when that same boy waits by my car after practice to howl at me barking and snarling. His mouth spits acid, makes my ears burn how I Foul mouthed and livid, unreachable, breathe fire right back how he, built like a burly bull, looks at me how I haven't been looked at in years like I was back to being that helpless thing curled in the corner of classroom and cafeteria like everything I've made of myself holds like cardboard facade against the maelstrom and I remember my fingers gripping my keys so tight I could have made a mold from the flesh of my palm. I remember thinking about my middle school self how she would have swallowed everything he was shoving down, he, down her throat and let it boil like battery acid till she broke and bled between knuckles, how she would have taken everything she had and put it in his hands and let him take a turn at destroying her. I remember wanting to shed everything I built around myself and let it loose like bullets out of a full clip, but I am not her. I don't let other people take from me what I don't want to give. I like this me. This me is strong knows how to pull punches and roll with them too, but only when I have to. This me wants to understand that boy instead of squeezing him into dust, wants to pull the monster out of him instead of giving up and shoving him aside because that's what happened to me. I was let down and written off as a problem child. I remember my school counselor telling me that I could be such a good kid if I just tried a little, if I just wanted to be better. I know that's what they told the boy in my stats class. What they told the boy would be the black kid have his size, what they when they should have told us to get help, to unlearn every evil, evil we'd ever soaked up and been smothered in. Monsters aren't born, we're made, and I will be damned if we cannot be unmade, too. <laughs>